Hey everyone, Sean Devine with Douglas Elliman. Welcome back to How's the Market. This past month was a really good example, I think, of news creating news. Third quarter 2019 ended. We saw lots and lots of articles about us being in a down market, about us being in a buyer's market. And despite the fact that September 2019, the very end of the third quarter was actually an up market where we saw contracts and price per square foot go up. October, immediately after all those articles were happening um, about the down market, we saw the market go down. Uh, nothing really changed in terms of the factors that had led to us being in a down market. So, uh, you know, we saw contracts go down, we saw prices go down, but none of the reasons for the uncertainty went up. So the reasons, you know, things like the trade tensions between the United States and China, the trade tensions between the United States and other countries and regions throughout the world, things like whether and how uh, Brexit will ever actually happen, uh, things like the impeachment inquiry, the upcoming presidential election, the Fed lowering interest rates consecutively for three times in a row, um, and new tax laws. Uh, all, all of these things, lots of uncertainty. As interesting as it is, none of that really changed in October to make it so that we would go down again, other than that we had all of these articles saying that we were down. So interesting when news creates news. Take a look at the data that follows. Let me know if you have any questions. And no matter what, have an amazing day. Bye.